Hi, Gemini. It's Ia Patsy. And I am here to do your love bite for a time period between now, the end of uh, August, and the end of September 2018. You all are my last um, set to do. And what I was doing this cycle is doing readings using the Barbieri Zodiac by Barbara Moore. And the artwork is by Paolo Barbieri. All right. And I was going through and breaking down each of the um, signs by element. So those of you who are involved with air signs, those of you who are involved with earth signs, fire signs, and water signs. So I was getting messages using the Romance Angel Oracle deck, the um, Dolphins and Mermaids deck, both of those are by Dorian Virtue, and the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed right? So, through so all of these videos, I, I think for the majority of them, I've been breaking each one down into, you know, one by one, air first, then earth, then fire, then water. So I'm exhausted now, and this is the last of them. Today's the 31st of August, so seeing as you are the last, I decided maybe we can do it a different way and see what happens, so. What I did this time is I laid out all of the elements, okay, and I'm going to see what we can get for each of them. See if I can get one card for each, okay, and we'll see what the energies are for each of these elements in regard to relationships between you and them, okay. Let's see how it goes. You all don't mind experimenting, doing things a little different. Okay, so. All right. So, for those of you who are involved with air signs, the card that came up for you <laughs> was playfulness. Romance Angel Oracle deck says to me that this relationship between you and this air sign is very playful, okay? You find this to be invigorating, okay? They remind you of your younger days, all right? It could also be saying that you and this air sign knew each other when you were younger. For Earth, those of you involved with Earth signs, card that came for you was chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So, Gemini, you, those of you who are involved with Earth signs, saying that there is a lot of chemistry between you and your Earth sign. Earth could be uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. For air signs, air signs were Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Sorry about, I didn't say that. So, Earth signs and Gemini, strong attraction. Four, fire signs and Gemini. This is fire. Fire is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this is saying to me that for some of you, it could be that there is uh, too much drinking going on uh, or other drug use, things like that. Habits that you need to change. It could also be saying that you and this fire sign are in a codependent relationship. Um, you rely on each other a lot. You lean on each other a lot. You feel very attached to this fire sign. Um, that might not be a good thing, but it might not be a bad thing either. All right, but this, I think, is saying that this is part of your, the dynamics in your relationship is codependency. And for water, Geminis who are involved with water signs, which are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, says free yourself. <laughs> so, time to take back control of your life for those of you who are involved with water signs. 
Okay. Let me see if we can get another message from the wisdom of the oracle. First, for your air sign relationship, Gemini. Let's see what they say. Let's see what we can get for air. Thank you. All right. And for earth. All right. For fire. And for water. Poised. Okay. <laughs> All righty. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. So let me just get this over with. I'll get one card from the mermaids and dolphins, and then we'll get into each of the breakdowns. Thank you all for being so patient with me and allowing me to do it like this, even though I did it differently for the other signs, but I don't, I'm getting exhausted and I don't want to be tired when I'm doing your reading, but I want to get them done before September starts, which is tomorrow. And I've been so busy this last week or so getting, um, Prepared. I had an Egum ceremony, a rural Egum Plaza, it's called, and that is a like a memorial uh, celebration for my ancestors. And my family was here. They came up from wherever they live, all over the place. And we had musicians, drummers, and uh, singers. And um, Babalao was here. And it was really a good time. Lots of food, lots of preparation. Lots of shopping, lots of cooking, lots of decorating. So I, I uploaded a, a, a snippet so that you could see some of the decorations and what went on. So that was a lot. My son's birthday was the day before that. And uh, with the retrogrades and everything else that was going on, yeah, Patsy has just been run down. So... Thank you all for your patience, and let's see what happens when we do it this way. For those of you who are involved with air, okay, you had gotten playfulness, then you got building blocks and rest. Hold on one moment. Boy. So sorry about that. Okay, so back to where we were. Rest. Building blocks, playfulness. Okay, so I think with those of you who are involved with air signs, playfulness, building blocks, and rest. Okay, so I think they're saying that you all need to take a break. You need to go on a vacation. That this time together, all right, um, will be a good foundation for this relationship, all right? This will strengthen not only the relationship, but it also will be good for you individually. So those of you who are involved with air signs, schedule a vacation. Those of you who are involved with earth signs, your cards were chemistry from the Romance Angel Oracle, Treasure Island, and Playtime. Okay. Yes, Midnight Moon. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Excuse me. Yeah, so Playtime, Treasure Island, and Chemistry. Yeah. Now again, for those of you involved with earth signs, Gemini's, I think it's saying that
maybe you need to play to schedule some uh, away time also, okay? Taking a vacation to rejuvenate this relationship. Or could be saying that those of you who are involved in earth signs, this may be a good way to get to know them, to see what's what they're like in a different setting. All right, what else is there inside of them? What makes them who they are? Learn about them and their family, their history, but do it in a playful way and do it, I think, going away, spending time together, going on vacation perhaps. That may be the time for the two of you all to get to know one another and find out more about one another, what it is that has attracted you to one another. For those of you who are involved with fire signs, fire would be Sagittarius, um, Leo, and uh, Aries, okay? I hope I said Earth would be Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay? So fire, codependency, imagine, ready, set, go. I think what this is saying is that one of you, the fire sign or the Gemini, you all think about each other, other a lot, all right? Um, you desire each other a lot, and you or they are ready to go forth with this relationship, okay? If you do spend a lot of time thinking about it, um, you do spend a lot of time daydreaming about this, and you are ready to go forward with this relationship. Hmm. Could also be saying that there is some actual dependency issues here. All right, and maybe the imagine may be talking about going and speaking to someone about mm, some mental health issues, maybe. Okay, maybe that's just what I'm seeing. Somebody needs to go and see about that, all right, because maybe it's affecting the way they they come towards you or you go towards them. Maybe this is too much, but this is... 20 is a two, you know, two, 20 is imagine, and imagine is two, two, 20 is two. What am I saying? The number 20 breaks down to two. Imagine is card number 20. So you got codependency and you got two, and you have ready, set, go. Could be saying that some of you are ready to go forward with this relationship that you rely on this person, that this relationship is all that you imagined that it was ever going to be or all that you could have imagined for yourself. You look forward to a relationship like this a long time and it could be saying that this is it, go for it. Um, you'll know. <laughs> which one is for you if this resonates so this talks about in matters of the heart it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting with that person and while that's romantic if you want this relationship to be real you need to go for it not just dream about it now's the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality beyond Illusion into fruition. Relationships are about relating. So, step 
into the dance floor where, imagine, where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that the person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life and you will be changed for the better. Imagine that. So this is saying that one or both of you need to make this need to take the steps that are necessary to move this relationship forward and that you've spent enough time manifesting, praying, believing, and um, visualizing. It's time for you to set yourself, get into action. Okay, take some steps towards this person. And this could go for you or your partner, both of you may be spending too much time too much time mentally about this. You may be up in your head too much about this relationship. And I think what the saying is that the two of you do love each other. You two of you are very close and you all need to just get ready. All right. Get working on this relationship, Gemini. Step forward. For those of you involved with water signs which would be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Free yourself. <laughs> Poised. And set yourself, set your sights higher. Increase your standards. Don't settle. So those of you who are involved with water signs, the message could be that you need to step away from this relationship free yourself all right that you can do better that you deserve better okay that there is something better waiting waiting for you if you free yourself and set or set and set your sights higher maybe it's saying that you're accepting less than you deserve from this relationship let's look at number 48 poised <clears throat> Poised. When you're confident and happy in your own skin, you are ready for a deeper, more intimate relationships. You're ready for deeper, more intimate relationships. You have nothing to prove right now. You are completely yourself and can handle anything. Love, friendships, and harmonious new connections are all present now or are coming in. You're ready to give and receive from the heart. This is a beautiful place to be. So, for those of you who are involved with water signs, this could be saying that you need to start to be yourself, all right, and to release your hang-ups. All right. Set your sights higher. All right. Think better of yourself. All right. Increase your standards. Yeah. This is a message, I think, to you, Geminis, who are involved with water signs that, like I said, you can... Get ready to open yourself up to something better than what you have been previously involved in. And that you need to just be yourself. All right? Be yourself. Don't accept less than what it is that you deserve which is all, only the best, and be ready to receive it, okay? So those are the messages for Gemini. Sun, wind, no, I'm sorry. What am I talking about sun? Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Those are your messages. So that was a whole lot quicker. That was only 20 minutes, and I got through all four. I say so because I don't want to jip you too hard. <clears throat> let me give you 
uh, Whispers of Love Oracle. That'll be a general message for Gemini for the time period between now and the end of September 2018. And Whispers of Love is by Angela Hartfield and artwork by Josephine Wall. Okay, so let's see. Let's get an oracle for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. Romance. Mm, very nice. So, <sighs> lavish the one that you love with personal attention and affection. Yeah, so that would have been for air. So again, romance. Take some time. Flirt, be playful. Schedule some time alone for vacation. All right, I'll be nice. So that was air. Let's do earth. <laughs> All right, let's see what the uh, whispers of love for Earth is for Gemini 2018, September 2018, end of August, end of month of September 2018 for their love bite. Those of you who wish a private personal reading can send an email to pbtarot7 at gmail.com. Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. That was for Earth. That was with chemistry. Treasure Island and Playtime. Yeah. So, spending some time getting to know this person. All right, getting to know more about them, deeper into who they are. Practice compassion, maybe some of the uh, things that you learn about as you start to grow deeper in the relationship with this person. It may ch be challenging. And what it's saying to you is that see things from a different perspective. All right. Everything is not about you. It could just be about them. Okay. For those of you who are involved with fire signs, card that came, honesty is essential. And that was with Codependency, ready, set, go, and the imagine. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. So, if there are issues in this relationship, the codependency, Like I said, could be some depression or some mental issues that need to be addressed for some of you. This is talking about talking about these things, being loving and not critical, being honest, saying what you're observing. Let them know what it is that you see. This is 38, 3 and 8 is 11. So, you all can manifest this relationship, those of you who want this relationship and are ready to go, all right? The way that this is going to go forward is by communication. Taking off the mask, being yourselves, and allowing yourselves to imagine your Imagine this relationship to be what it is that you really are desiring. And four. Okay. Well, this came out with honesty. Number 44, getting to know each other. All right, so there. this is time to spend being honest and open, communicating, 
All right. Imagining the type of relationship that you want, discussing it, being open about your desires with this fire sign. This is something both of you want. 44, twin flame, manifestation, founding, um, building. It's creating a foundation, creating a solid base to build on with this person. Yeah. You're ready to you're ready for this. Both of you are. And so your advice is to be honest as you get to know each other. Be honest and accepting. For those of you who are involved with water signs, let's see what that what that uh, advice is. Appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity for growth and love. And so this talks about freeing yourself, setting your sights higher, and poise. So as you release yourself from this relationship with this water sign, appreciate the lessons. Number 33. This is a master number, a master year. Communicate, okay? Communicate with this person. Express your appreciation. Even though it may be hard, even though it may have had its challenges, okay? There were lessons to be learned. You learn that you need to set your sights higher. You learn that you need to take back control of your life. So, appreciate these lessons. Appreciate this moment. Practice self-love. This is growth. It's an opportunity for you to be good to yourself and learn from this relationship. Learn what you want, what you don't want, and then go forward with confidence because of all of the lessons that you've learned up to now. That this is not all bad. That there was something to be gained from this experience, whether it went positively or negatively. But the more you show gratitude and appreciation, and make the attempt to find out what the lesson is, just by trying to think about it and, and to sort it out, that's a lot of growth right there. And it will be appreciated by the divine. Okay, so express your appreciation and let that person go with grace. All right? So, Gemini, thank you so much for allowing me to bring you these messages, even though they are late and even though they are half as long as everyone else's. But uh, just know that I appreciate it, and I know that you all understand, okay? And we've had a great year, all right, Gemini? And we're going to continue on to better and bigger things, right? So the September readings are already up. Your September general readings are already up, and I'll be back to do the Love Bites for October a little later on, okay? So don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Hit the notification button so that you can uh, get notified when I go live. I originally did these readings earlier this month, but it didn't upload to YouTube. It was five hours long. We had a great time, but... It didn't upload, and so the only people who got those messages were the people who um, had been in the room, and those people were subscribers who had hit the notification button. So just keep the button, and then when I'm doing something live or when I upload new material, you'll be one of the first to know. Okay? So thank you all so very, very much. Don't forget to check out the, uh, the video for the uh, Egun ceremony, and I also have videos on Vimeo. 
that you can check out. Um, there's some of the uh, content is free and there are other content available for rental for a small fee. And you get some other messages. I did the uh, Tarot of Sexual Magic on uh, those videos, one for each of the signs. So there are 12 of those. So go check it out, all right? Thank you all so very much. I love you guys, and I'll be talking to you all soon, all right? Have Enjoy the end of the summer. Have a great Labor Day, and um, just be good to yourself, all right? I love you guys, all right? Thank you so much for your patience. Namaste.